The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Faster. Halt! You gotta pay the war levy! This again? Shut it and pay! Already paid. Once is enough. Spy! Let's arrest him! What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witcher'd make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell. Live run of it! Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. 
Show me what you have in stock. So long. This the Brasodi Brothers Auction House? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternising with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell the war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besordi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders! Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention, and shut your giggy! Oh, the lads'll be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just note. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotic air. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neum and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, it might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. 
Not a wee bit like his da, my little eye keep his soul. But Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only ever clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Apache egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz incense. Geralt, you so thought of buying real estate. Could get to attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Marks? Come on, you know damn well that makes no sense. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye, and? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Elbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Albert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, isn't it? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb! Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Hmm. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, seeing as I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. A finder's fee of sorts, you okay? mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin, then a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on.
Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have. Or something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Oh. <clears throat> I believe I'll bid on that Gorbe landscape. A landscape? You detest them. Yaramir! Uh, might we trouble you, we spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I bought the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Noob, the master from Maribor. Really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roe is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friend's beckon. So, what did he tell you? Ah, uh, nothing special. Truly? Huh. Shame, that. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Funny. Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy. And that ring on his finger. Shite, is it fat? Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions... Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Did you say such things, Countess? You look right-fetching to me! That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. 
But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir. Of the school of the wolf, he came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night. Night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued. Then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus... I have lived on memories. Vesemir's fine. The picture of health. And he still wears a mustache. I'm relieved to hear it. And... Hmm, did he ever find... a... a mate? No. 
Haven't seen him with a woman in five decades. Me and the other Witchers, we often wondered what his story was. A pity. A pity our story didn't end differently. I might have... I should have ridden out after him. Please don't mention me when next you see him. I've reopened my own wounds. That's enough. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. gentlemen. The auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, a long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Ah, knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe. Starry night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes, at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Rose starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacle. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny, dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh. 
Och, Geralt! Look! Horst Basudi! Come on, afore some other cocksuckers steal him. Just... well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. Acquaintance? I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to. What's one like you want from one like me? The Borsodi's auction house. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone. How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point. Now. Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Giving me no choice. <laughs> Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Uh, how do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point. If you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope.
Something went horribly wrong, though. Tracks are clear, leading to the woods. steaming human flesh.
line. was rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Let me have a look. So long. Hey there. Wouldn't happen to have some Yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. I spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break him. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner. Barracks. Brute force is out. 
Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us alive. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I? Well, that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Toast a mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to call them it. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as Guillermo. <laughs> Just now performing with a troop somewhere near Oxenford. Her specialities. Gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I really doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A half -way. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked a gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Nolan. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almus. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back <laughs> by one Hans of Sidaris. A prick mercenary. As far as I know, his troops made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Pontar. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. 
Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. To raise suspicions. Hmm. Now the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You can also use your fists. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Master Casimir, toss aside the torch, you guts! Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? In deep play, Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Bought the wind's pearls, salt! Satins, and how the fuck she repaid me, made me a heat banger cuckold! Huh, a falling out in the family? Aye, his Euphemia. She were fine, pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow, ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon, and that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yumpy since. Balling, whinging, now this. Ah, this'll be one for the plowing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad. I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? Wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing. Not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail military. Our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lately come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose. Then ran off. My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Get down. Now. What? Oh, coming. I'm coming. So, uh, mm. what is it you wanted? Want you to open a door permanently so it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one. To be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, 
Now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Hut of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland Stream. See ya! What would you return? The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you. Talk. What do you want? Rather talk eye to eye. Everline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well. Once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain... Auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. Let me guess. There's a monster needs killing. Somewhere, certainly. But not here. May I finish? Or would you rather keep guessing? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's that to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. What? But I... Shh! Geralt! Grab your crossbow and get to work! Watch the hole! Shoot!
We end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Say it to a hand or two of Gwent. Uh, not gonna try to sell me something first? My goods are not swallows. They will not flip nor flee. Cards won't either. Do you wish to split hairs all day or play Gwent, hmm? Feels like you might have missed your calling. Oh, curious conclusion. Why? Well, should be hawking goods. Instead, Gwent's all you talk about. Hmm. You're right. So, care for a match. So, should we lay him down? Yes, yes, yes. You need not ask twice.
Welcome. Welcome. Uh, not gonna... My... Card. Do you... Like to take a look at your wares. Ah. Uh, fine. Should be going. If ever you need a partner for Gwent, you know where to find me. Don't know. Run, Roach. That delivery. It was to be here a week past. This caravan. Was what do you have to say? To the side of the it was. Laugh. Well, then there's no How'd point in prick wind up Why do you with say us? that? Volunteered. Are they bandits Word is he had to bribe the medics Worse. to let him enlist. Are you mad or what? Some That's just it. Certifiably insane. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. Thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Watch your step. What do you have to say? That's a horse for Sophie. You got a daughter? Why do you ask? Well, think on it. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Nothing interesting. What do you have to say? Fish chowder for supper the day. Is that true? Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate the morning. Saw Martin. Winds on howling. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just a gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, aye. If only it'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. 
pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Must be the cook. Good day, fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot, too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye, I'll help. Out of kindness. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word, understood? <laughs> <laughs> 